Hi, this is Andy Filippiak in Toronto for the week of June the 3rd. The sell-off in the equity markets has temporarily stopped, but interest rates continue to go down. And the reason interest rates continue to drop is fear that the global economy is slowing faster than anybody expected. This past week, we saw Australia cut interest rate from one and a half to one and a quarter. And it's likely now that we're going to see the U.S. cut probably at least two times this year. This past week, we saw JP Morgan um, launch a trial balloon saying they expect interest rates to be cut twice this year. And many more brokerage firms are now starting to lean that way. In fact, a Fed governor this past week came out and said, rate cuts are possible because we need to lift inflation. So the most important thing for investors is to remember that just six months ago, we were all being told that the global economy was recovering, that interest rates were going to go higher because things were improving. Then in December, the Fed paused because of the downturn in the stock market and the economic numbers. Now we're seeing a complete reversal where interest rates are likely to be cut. And I want to think what this means is we're going to probably be at zero uh, in the U.S. in the not too distant future. So money managers who are set up to participate in future growth in the global economy now have to reset their thinking. And while money can be invested long term, everybody in essence managed for the short term. So we're seeing a massive switch in the psychology. And this is going to lead to changes in asset prices. For example, we've seen gold spike up over 4% in less than a week, I believe on the fact that we're going to see lower rates going forward and for a long time. So Continue to watch these markets. The trend is not looking too good right now for the economy and equities, and a defensive stance is definitely in order. Thanks for watching.